primitive roots have different applications, um, one of which is for um, computing discrete logs. The definition of a primitive root says that if p is prime, then for alphas in between 1 and p, alpha to the p minus 1 uh, will be congruent to 1 mod p. For all i's, if for all i's um, in between 1 and up until p minus 1, alpha to the i is not congruent to a mod, not congruent to 1 mod p, then alpha is a primitive root. So for alpha to the p minus 1, it's congruent to 1, but up until then, right up and right up till p minus 1, it should not be congruent to 1 mod p for it to be a primitive root. There are multiple ways of finding finding whether it is a primitive root. Um, for low p's, um, we can use a particular method and write it out and calculate it for all of them. Example, if p is 13, is alpha equals 2 a primitive root? So we have to use every i from 1 up until right before p minus 1. p minus 1 is 12, so we have to go all the way to 11 for our i, right before p minus 1. So from 1 to 11. For each of those numbers, we calculate 2, our alpha, to the i mod 13, mod p. So we get all these numbers, none of which are 1. Therefore, we can say that alpha, or 2, is a primitive root mod 13. However, with the example p equals 13, and if we're trying to find out if 5 is a primitive root, again, we go from 1 to right before p minus 1, so 1 to 11. Um, so 5 to the i, so 5 to the 1, 5 to the 2. And we can see that we get 5, 12, 8, 1. You can see how we have this reoccurring pattern where we keep getting a 1 before p minus 1. Therefore, alpha equals 5 is not a primitive root, root mod, mod 13.